It's a rare thing for visitors to find their way to the tiny fishing villages of Newfoundland. So an equally rare attraction, known to fishermen of the island, is seldom seen by outsiders. It's the sanctuary for seabirds, a short way offshore from this newest Canadian province, once known as Britain's oldest colony. The terrain of Gull and Green Islands on Newfoundland's east coast has never lured any humans to settle down, but for the birds, it's a paradise. Common among the many species which take up residence is the myrrh, an offhand sort of parent which thinks nothing of hatching its eggs and raising its young right on the edge of a precipice. Equally numerous are the puffins, or sea parrots, as they're called here. Those too young to fly have no choice but to stay home and entertain the guests. This youngster will be a seagull when he grows up, the bird that is, the other fellow will likely become a fisherman like his dad. And they'll all meet again one day over a nice mess of herring. No need to fret. Here by the Newfoundland shore on Canada's east coast, there'll be plenty of fish for everyone. It's June in Newfoundland, and the fish are being unusually obliging. They're coming inshore to be caught. They're called capelin, these little silvery fish, and this is the time of year when they spawn by letting the waves roll them onto the beach. Here in the gravel they lay their eggs. And here the fishermen come down to meet them, with a barrel to take them home. Catching the capelin isn't difficult, but the trick is to get down to the shore as soon as they come in and get them before they go out to sea again. They're unpredictable fish, and during the season they can come at any time of day or night. After they're caught, the capelin have a versatile role. They can be used as fertilizer or bait. They can be fed to dog teams in winter and they make an agreeable addition to the family larder, either fresh, frozen, salted, or smoked. For the people of Newfoundland, a generous gift from the sea, deposited at their very doorstep. At Fair Island, Newfoundland, moving day has arrived for one fisherman's family. But it's not only the furniture that's being moved, the house is going too. Eventually all the houses in this outport village will be moved to a new community eight miles away across the water. And it takes sheer manpower to get the move started. For the island has no power, no roads, no trucks. First, skid logs go under the house. Then cod blubber is prepared to grease them. This work is all part of a project by which the government of Canada's most eastern province is encouraging isolated villages to move to larger, more central communities. When Newfoundland's economy was based entirely on fishing, it was natural for the population to be dispersed in coastal villages. But now, with new industries arising, centralization is the trend. And so the houses of Fair Island are all going for a ride on a raft, to a site where schools, hospitals, stores and other services will be available. 
the moving of the outports is purely voluntary. If all the members of the community decide on the move, the government provides financial assistance to relocate at new centers, where living conditions are far better. But still, for members of the older generation, it's often quite sad to leave the surroundings of a lifetime. At last, the house is ready to go to sea, and the raft is eased out into the water. The whole move, preparations, transport, and setting up the house at its new location, takes three or four weeks. During this period, families double up, and those left on the island look after all the livestock, for the animals will be the last to make the trip. At Centerville on the mainland, houses that have been floated in from two islands are starting to form a new town. Here, electricity, roads, and transportation are already available, and in due time there will be other amenities that were unknown in the islands. And so, a sea voyage of only a few hours brings a momentous change to the life of a community here on the coast of Newfoundland. <laughs> 